Hello everyone, hello the Afghan community. Uh, although it is sad not to be able to meet this year due to the pandemic, it is hopeful to be able to communicate in this way. Uh, I think the motto of the event this year is a pleasant shot that brings us together. You can't stop the signal. Uh, to talk about myself, uh, I'm Mehmet Ondar K. As of now, I'm working as a cybersecurity specialist at Bilge Adam Technology. I'm also a part time cybersecurity consultant at Turkish Aerospace Industries. Uh, I know it's boring to constantly read the pages in a presentation, but I have to do it to understand the technique and the process. Uh, don't worry, it will be very short and then we'll try to show you how uh, all this works in practice. And without forgetting, thanks to Talha Demirsoy and Tamal Demir who helped me during uh, the implementation. Uh, let's start. Drones have two fundamental parts which are remote controller and the aircraft. They utilize radio frequencies at certain spectrum in order to communicate with each other. Uh, by means of this communication, it is possible to manipulate the aircraft's features. And controller and aircraft send and receives signals we transceiver to carry out desired tasks. Uh, it is seen on the screen that their working frequency is usually uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, 5.8 gigahertz is usually used for video transmissions. Uh, advanced drones use GPS signals to for communication uh, purpose. And uh, the global positioning system is a space-based radio navigation system uh, owned by the U.S. government and operated by the United States Air Force. Uh, other than GLONASS is operated by Russia and same purpose to be able to know the location of object or humans by means of object. There are 30 plus GPS and 24 GLONASS operational satellites and they constantly radiate signals and receivers on our device capture this and calculate this distance to satellites and once our receiver has the distance to four or more satellites it can tell us uh, where it is on earth and uh, GPS jamming is the jamming, blocking or interference with the GPS signals from satellite when there is a m more powerful signal at GPS frequency in the receiver's environment receiver will choose the weaker actual signal to use which will cause GPS jamming uh, this can occur and until we maybe because of faulty equipments or space weather conditions and intentionally on some purpose. Uh, for detailed technical information about this topic, you can watch the presentation previously published on DEFCON uh, because of that next page. Uh, oops. I'm so sorry. Uh, if you uh, the GPS spoofing, uh, okay. If your purpose is not to block the determination of the location, but uh, luring the receiver to believe in that it is in somewhere else, then you are capturing the actual GPS signals and radiate at false GPS signals that the receiver will capture and then it will make calculation based on wrong information casing that it will see itself in other location than the actual one 
uh, there are grid posts on DEF CON about this. Uh, I'm going through there without repeating the same content. Uh, next page. Uh, but no, okay. Keep the sky safe. Countries uh, have uh, some rules, including the let drone pilots fly their aircraft in certain areas. These restricted uh, areas are categorized into some levels. For example, in UK, while restricted areas demonstrated the sensitive areas such as prisons or nuclear facilities, uh, danger areas tell us that it's a military airspace. In order to fly your drones in these areas, permission should be obtained from uh, relative authorities. And uh, areas where you need to be careful or obtain permissions are demonstrated on some drones controller. Here is the information about how our drones regulate its usage paths on zones. At some places it just shows a warning message asking for your permission and in some places it just blocks the flying. There is a unlocking process which allows you to fly in a restricted zone if you have the authorization. Some of the area codes on our drones is shown in this slide. Uh, in restricted zone, our drone say it will land itself in 90 seconds if remains in this zone. Uh, altitude zone allow you to fly an um, drone up to certain altitude. Similarly, uh, the restricted zone we are required to contact uh, with the manufacturer to unlock limitation in these areas. To do so, we need to have verified account. Uh, in warning zones, a warning will appear to show the special contents on flight zone. In unchanged warning zones, we need to contact with manufacturer to unlock flight. Uh, while authorization zones require verified account, unchanged warning zones do not. After all these short technical details, uh, you can watch the video with the steps on how the process works. Hello, here we will show a small simulation of the subject we are talking about. So as you can see, I show my friend what kind of devices I will use. So I have HackRF for, G for GPS spoofing and I have Raspberry Pi for, for control our HackRF. So, to start the geolocation spoofing, we connected the HackRF devices to the Raspberry Pi and we prepared before and spread false location data. To mislead the object that detects the actual location. So in this way, we misled the control controller and the application with the fake GPS location we spread. So you will see right now, we changed a location with GPS, fake GPS location, and we using the Raspberry Pi and the HackRF. As you can see, now is a different location. We are in different location, and our drones shows us a geolocation spoofing a success. As you can see, we change our location and we set our location to military zone. So that's meaning if other drones trying to enter our location, the drones user will see warning on drones controller. So uh, if you want to set the area you are in as a dangerous area for flying, 
that can be also done using GPS spoofing. Now my friend trying to show us that we are not in military zone but uh, GPS not saying like that so you can expand those limits with more advanced equipment as you can see we are in military zone and <laughs> you can see that now it's success right now Yes, uh, I think it was a quick presentation, uh, but I hope this presentation will be useful for gaining slightly different perspectives and pushing your imagination a little. Uh, maybe it may seem dangerous to do these in areas with such as a risk, but uh, imagine uh, that cargo companies have increased the use of drones. Uh, maybe you can drop your own gift down chimney without <laughs> waiting for Santa uh, and finally thanks uh, you can contact us at any time about the presentation and more uh, again and again thanks